So here we are at Trek headquarters, Coxcomb. It's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, signing our liability forms, handing over phone numbers, insurance numbers, a few minutes away from starting out on the hike. Joe's phone number with, with us, the phone that's with us, whether we, I don't know if we have service. <laughs> or, um, and then the other one is um, somebody in Maya outside, Beach okay. outside sure. that you can call. Mm -hmm. if, case, yeah. if we all disappear and never come back yeah. again, yeah. That's, that's who to tell. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we have his wife with us, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He may or may not come looking for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, he will. Yeah. True. Yeah. So we've been walking for uh, almost an hour now. We came to our first uh, dilemma, really, where the, the uh, uh, path forked. I'm not quite sure whether to take the right or to go straight on, but uh, Dan forged ahead and uh, worked out that it was actually, it's turning off to the right was a, a detour for a washed out bridge. So even though there wasn't a sign, I'm going to take it anyway. Pretty, pretty flat so far up to this stage. A bit humid. It's sweaty because it's because of the humidity, but otherwise fairly flat and easy. So now we have just reached the turnoff off to the right that will take us to take us onto the outlier trail. 3.5 kilometers up to the outlier, which does not seem an awful lot, but I think it's going to get tougher from here on in. Well, now we're onto the outlier trail, and here the trail has just got a little bit thinner and a little bit scratchy underfoot. Here's Chris coming through. <laughs> Okay, so this is where it's starting to look a little bit more perilous. Big old ditch, fallen tree, sharp incline on the other side. Um, I think this is a kind of wild animals. great opportunity for me to let Chris go first. No, 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 after you. Believe me, <laughs> after you, you just go right ahead. I don't think she's going to let me get out of that one so easy. Okay. And here comes Vicky, bringing up the rear. <laughs> the mule. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been going now for three okay. hours. Three days. Uh, three days. Three hours. I lost the pointy thing on my stick, so I got Various right pieces of sophisticated equipment have broken down. <laughs> GPSs, step counters, sticks. And we're off again. Yes. So that's what we've just come up. That was pretty steep. It was pretty brutal. I call that brutal. But this is the view. I don't know how high up we are. But that is a very beautiful view. Well, not over top of the outlier yet. But it's been a pretty relentless, steep, challenging climb so far. It's around about 11.30 now. It's a beautiful viewpoint though. Not sure which direction we're looking. But um, stunning, beautiful. Green canopy, canopy, mountains in the background, and I think I'm hoping that right up there, top of that hill, is what we're heading for, the outlier. Here we are on the top, the outlier. Man, that was a hard climb, but we made it um, before. Um, I think it's before midday. I have to check the time, but. Um, that was like an hour and a half, two hours, uh, faster than I expected to get up here. That is wonderful. Hard, stuck, tough climb though, but a beautiful view from up here. Here it is. As I was coming past the rocks, just coming up the, the last bit there, uh, I thought it was a, a flock of birds flew out, but it was some, some bats um, in a little little caves under the rocks flew out and, and passed me and um, plenty of butterflies too beautiful and a lot of trees that I can't identify so Chris has now made it to the top made it to the top cheese eating an orange 
When she arrived at the top, she said, this is me tired. <laughs> I said, no, it's deep. She said, no, she said, no, I'm really tired. Really Refuel. Tired. And that was tough. Now we're devouring oranges. Okay, here's Dan. He's looking chipper, fresh-based. He's had about 30 seconds to recover. Actually, he's not made it to the top yet. Yeah. Oh, is this a movie? He's about, yes it is. He's Onward about 10 feet away. Onward and forward. We shall watch him as he triumphantly goes to the top. I'm going to use your bag as a food mm -hmm. layout. Yeah. Ta-da! There he is, rejoicing on the summit. I am Thor! <laughs> he plays those roles so well. <laughs> Wait, there's, there's Victoria. That's the one we were supposed to be on. <laughs> so that's it. Back from the trail. It's around 3.30. Now we're desperate for a drink. We're hoping that the ranger's office is going to have some cold drinks in his fridge. <laughs>